based on this graph we need to evaluate the following definite integrals in part a we have to find the definite integral of f function from 0 to 2 that means look at the graph here 0 to 2 of this function that means pretty much we are finding this area from 0 to 2 okay this definite integral means pretty much this area and this is a triangle and the area of a triangle is half times base times height so this half times base is 2 height is also 2 so 2 to 4 half of 4 is 2 or 2 to cancel just 2 in part b we have to find the definite integral from 2 to 5 okay so 2 to 5 2 to 5 pretty much this region and this is below the t axis so this will be negative okay now this one we can divide this region into two parts here is a rectangle in fact this is a square because the length is 2 and height is also 2 or length width same 2 2 so 2 times 2 4 and we have a triangle here okay here we got a triangle of width 1 2 to 3 means 1 and height is 2 so the area of this triangle will be half times base times so for this triangle half times base times uh, half height height is just 2 so 2 to cancel is 1 so area is 1 here for this this is 1 and this is 4 because it's the square 1 plus 4 5 so the total this integral is 5 but below the x-axis this negative 5 in part C we have to find from 5 to 7 5 to 7 so that is now 5 to 6 and 6 to 7 because the curve passes through this axis so 5 to 6 and 6 to 7 these two regions so this is same as 5 to 6 of f plus 6 to 7 5 to 6 so this region is a triangle half times base times height it's like this region just one same thing this is one but below so negative 1 this is same as this but positive so negative 1 plus 1 0 so this is negative 1 this is positive 1 0 so this definite integral is 0 now in part D we have to find go all the way from 0 to 7 0 to 7 so we can go 0 to 2 first 0 to 2 that will be 2 then 2 to 5 2 to 5 that's negative 5 plus then 5 to 7 5 to 7 was 0 so the total is 2 negative 5 is just negative 3 okay now let's go to the second part define a g function is a definite integral from 0 to x where f is this graph and x goes from 0 through 7 from here to here now we need to find the intervals where g is increasing okay this is not g function this is f function and g is in fact the definite integral and we know that a function is increasing where its derivative is positive and g is decreasing means where the derivative is less than zero so we need to find the interval where derivative of g is less than zero so let's find the derivative first so g is given by this function so the derivative is so we need to find the derivative of 0 to x f t dt then by the fundamental theorem of calculus when we find the derivative of this integral derivative kind kind of cancels the entire derivative this part and dt 
just the function and this is by the FTC fundamental theorem of calculus f picks up the upper limit x so derivative of this function is pretty much just f and derivative less than zero means this function less than zero let's see where is f less than zero in the graph if we go here and we can clearly see on this interval 2 to 6 the graph is below the x-axis or t-axis okay so this f is less than 0 on 2 to 6 and we found that g prime is same as f and f is less than 0 on 2 to 6 so derivative is less than 0 means the function g is decreasing on this interval you don't have to show this part by the way so the answer is 2 to 6 and this is the explanation final